Hi, my name is Frank Bellhumer, and welcome to my quick review here of the all-new 2017 Renegade X. This is on the new Gen 4 Rev platform, featuring the all-new 850 E-Tech 2 Rotax engine. Real quick up front, Rav 3 front suspension. Uh, a few minor changes in the geometry has really helped uh, make some changes positively with the roll center of the vehicle which is really going to help keep that inside ski down in a corner like the RAV2 was known for just a little skittish in a corner like to lift the inside ski a little bit in the hard trailing uh, next is the cast bulkhead on this machine in the front end really helps give a good solid feel in the bar you can feel the chatter the bumps all those little fine details on the trail are transmitted through to you with a rider you can really adjust your cornering based on how you feel that front end moving around. It really comes through well with that cast aluminum bulkhead now. In the rear, R motion. Nothing much needs to be said about that. It's an R motion. It's the industry standard. Been that way for a couple of years. A uh, couple OEMs are coming pretty close, but really this is a set it and forget it. You dial it in for the conditions you're riding in and it stays flush all day long. You can set it for three foot moguls or beautiful trails. The R motion eats it all up all day long. Ergonomics on this machine everything is narrow the tunnels narrower the panels are narrower the seat is narrow all that translates to more room for you as a rider to move around in a cockpit your side to side motion your front to back motion you can really get your weight forward over the speed where it needs to be when you're cornering aggressively and of course you got the forward adjustable bars that gives you a lot more gets the bars out of your chest when you're really hanging off the side of the sled and again with that narrower tunnel you can move forward over the skis rather than outside like you used to have to on the older XS and XP designs. You can really adjust the weight of the rider over the skis and affect the handling. It cannot be understated how much you can affect the handling by shifting your weight around. Uh, of course, the heart of this new platform, the 850 E-Tech 2 engine, buttery smooth, instant throttle response, and it is paired with the brand new p-drive roller clutch that's not re that's not evolution that's revolution that is a game changer a complete roller clutch on a consumer model machine has never been done that is something you find this level of clutch is something you find in a race sled for a weekend warrior for the average consumer the average joe to get a roller clutch of this caliber combined with this motor is fantastic it's it's more than just instant throttle response it's darn near telepathic the way this machine will respond to finite hair trigger movements and you can adjust this sled in the corners it's, it's unbelievable how, how quickly it responds uh, downsides on the machine very few I don't have all that much time on it yet I've got about 100 kilometers of trail riding but we don't have anything huge or hard packed that they can go railing into anything yet but the downsides i have seen so far very minor the kyb plus shocks front and rear 22 clicks of adjustment for compression unless you're a pro rider you can't tell the difference between 10 clicks and 12 clicks the nod goes kind of to the competition on this one they've got the qs3 fox shock coming out on a lot of the other manufacturing machines Soft, medium, hard. That's all the average Joe weekend warrior needs to adjust his machine. Uh, second, form over function. Where did the storage go? I have to choose if I don't buy an extended glove box or a link bag. I have to choose what I'm going to put in the factory glove box up here. Am I going to bring my wallet and my cell phone, or am I going to bring a sandwich and some water to eat on the trail on a day ride? They've got you because you really you have no choice but to go back to the dealer and spend a bit more money and get those uh, ski do accessories in order to accessorize your machine the way you need it to ride it to make it functional uh, but those are minor gripes of course uh, other than that so far so good don't have a lot of negative on the machine we're going to get out we're going to put some more miles on it we've got some snow on the ground and uh, that's about it for now hope you enjoy